Happy Hello. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Anna, <laughs> wait until we're invited. Oh, for God's sake, can I get the hell in here? <laughs> what? He actually sings in the shower. It's a whole thing. I do not. <laughs> yes, you do. Abby, can I take Joy to our house? And wear a hat, please. You're just getting over a cold. Joy, you wear a hat, too. Where are your sisters? I can't find them. Anna? Joy? Wait, I checked the entire house. They're not here. Dad, there was this RV, and they were playing on it. There was, there, we thought there was someone inside. You wait here. Oh, let me go. I couldn't find them! Detective Loki. <laughs> Do you have children, Detective? I'm going to find your daughter. Show me your hands right now! Parker! You put those girls somewhere, Alex. No. I know you put those girls somewhere. He stays in custody until my daughter's found, right? We have a 48 hour hold on. It ends tomorrow unless we bring charges. We'll charge him with something. That boy has never been in trouble, not a day in his life. Well, this thing's clean. I'd start looking in the woods by the rest stop. The police said they're letting him go today. I can do it! Tell me! Oh, no, no, no! Day six. And every day, she's wondering why I'm not there. You told us that you could protect us from everything. Why did you look for my daughter? No. What in the world did you do? Someone has to make him talk, or they're gonna die. We're not gonna help Kella, but we won't stop him either. Let him do what he needs to. I know you know where they are. Where's my daughter? This trailer really caught me by surprise. I mean, when it first started, I was like, what's this? I haven't heard about this movie. And then as it started to reveal what the film was about, I was like, oh, this is really depressing. I would not want to sit through this. But then as it continued to unfold, it kind of drew me in. And I was like, hmm, I would be interested in this film, I think. Uh, which is which I find surprising because The Lovely Bones, Peter Jackson's film, which is very similar about another abducted girl and her family coping with it, uh, did not do particularly well at the box office. And I think largely because it was depressing. I didn't see it for that reason. I was like, this is just not something that I find to be entertainment or, or even or, or compelling. Uh, but I think perhaps it's because Lovely Bones had like a dreamlike kind of quality to it from what I could tell. Uh, if it was very much from the victim's perspective, which I think was also difficult. But this is a shorter time span. It's a grittier film. It's more of like uh, these kind of whodunits. It's a mystery. It's on the ground almost. Uh, and I think going from the parent's point of view is also very, uh, you know, I think that's something very that audiences can maybe tap into a little bit more and it's not quite as quite as torturous and horrible to watch, heart-wrenching. Uh, the other thing that I think really works in favor of this film is the casting. Really outside of the box thinking here and a great ensemble. First of all, Hugh Jackman, great choice for him. I'd love to see more drama from Hugh Jackman. He does a lot of light, comment, light romantic movies and musicals and action films, obviously, but I think drama could be an interesting way for him to go. He looks like he's doing a very good job here, uh, and I think he, he's, he plays a good dad. I saw him in Real Steel. He did a nice, he did a nice job there. Maria Bello. I always like Maria Bello. Uh, Viola Davis, obviously, is a fantastic actress. Uh, Terrence Howard, also obviously very good. Jake Gyllenhaal great choice. And also Paul Dano. I mean, like, wow, risky move playing such a role. But I mean, Paul Dano excels in this kind of work. He's a very good character actor. Uh, so and also, you know, we don't know if his character is actually guilty. Uh, now, another thing I have to admit, I have to say, really good use of diversity in the film to have uh, a white and a black family uh, dealing with this together. And I just think, it, you know, and, and yet making that a part of the film, and representing that diff two different uh, demographics, but yet not making a big deal about it. I think that's great. It's nice to see Hollywood starting to slowly but surely move in that direction after we've been talking about it with Fast and the Furious. Uh, so this film, again, while I do think that this is going to be a tough thing to sit through, uh, and, you know, it's always questionable whether or not 
this is something you would like you want to do with your Friday night. Uh, I like I like this film. I maybe so maybe for that reason I wouldn't see it in theaters, but I think I could definitely see myself renting it. It, it looked it looked really good. So uh, what do you think of Prisoners? Are you as surprised as I am that this looks promising, or did maybe you saw the Lovely Bones and you think that this is something that of course obviously while nobody would condone the, this horrible scenario, do you think that it makes for compelling filmmaking? So write your thoughts down below. As always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers but for these quick snapshot reviews. See you later. Bye.